You know, USA has been a wonderful partner for us. I don't think any of us thought that we would be doing this for nine seasons. You know, I think in the very beginning, when we started season one, we felt like, wow, you know, if we can just make it two seasons, then, you know, we won't be a failure. Yeah. And, you know, here we are wrapping up the season nine. And having a spinoff as well. And a spinoff with Growing Up Chrissy, which is in its season three, getting ready to go into season four. And, you know, we've been very blessed. I mean, we've been very blessed, but I think that that's because God has aligned us with wonderful partners. Yeah, awesome. Oh my God. Great, you ready to get your permit? (laughs) (laughs) Where the hell are we? A place that I shouldn't even be in. What are y'all doing? None of your business. Now tell me this, how much of the show is scripted? (laughs) Well, you know, I'd like to say that it's all scripted. Because oh, you man, especially would, after the fact, I would, right? I would love to say yeah. it's all scripted, <laughs> but you can't script the dysfunction that goes on in our nah. life. And I, I remember the very first, first day we ever filmed Chrisley Knows Best. Uh-huh. It was day one, season one. It was Savannah's 16th birthday, August the 11th. And I remember us having this scene in a hotel down in Buckhead, yes. and we didn't know what we were doing, but I remember getting in the car, and I looked at Todd and I said, that really just happened. You know, I've watched all these shows for yeah. years and I've thought, you know, that stuff is scripted. There's no way that happened. And after that day one, I'm like, that really just happened. And there was like, no script. It just happened. So where do you see yourselves progressing to after reality TV? What does that life look like? Um, I think that I will probably move into some form of politics. Really? Um, I think that I will go back to my home state of South Carolina and I want to be a grandfather. I want to I want to help raise my grandchildren while also trying to help make this country that I love dearly a better place for everyone. Now what do you think of that, Julie? Especially the <laughs> politics aspect because you already got yourself into reality TV. You are right. Now you're about to dive Well, it cannot deeper. get any worse. Can it there's not? nothing else for you to know about us. It's all out I there, know, so there's no bombshells. Let me just say this. We've been together a long time and I'm not bailing now. So, <laughs> politics or no politics. I'm going to stick in there. We're going to do what we've always done, which is come together as a team and See what happens. Fair enough, all right. But how has reality television tested or taken a toll on your marriage? You know, people ask me all the time, what's the best and worst part about having the show and TV and all this? And I said, well, you know, imagine every day of your life going to work with your spouse, with your adult children, with your minor children, and with your mother-in-law. Oh, my. Just imagine every day that being that being that what is your life is. That's that, a lot, right. and then living with them in real life. Exactly, yes. and that it's a lot. Yeah. Um, but I do think we've always we, we sat the kids down before the show we ever started filming the show, mm-hmm. and we said to them, "This is a job. Yes, they are going to be in our home, in our life, filming who we are." But at the end of the day, this is a job for them. And it is our job to make sure that our family is intact when all this is over. It's admirable and it's great that you sat the children down, but there, and that you guys have been able to be, for the most part, this strong family unit mm-hmm. and army amongst yourselves. But of course, you get the trolls on the internet yes. or you get the headlines. Um, and there have been headlines. a tremendous amount of headlines about the two of you, your children. Mm-hmm. Um, what headline in particular maybe has been one that has been most hurtful to your family? We've told our children that for us to allow someone that we've never met, for their opinion to matter to us, is giving power to something that we shouldn't even care about. And so we choose not to give free rent in our, in our minds to people that just don't matter to us. You know, regarding headlines, you know, there's never really been any headlines about our marriage that have bothered us because we know who we are. I guess the the thing that probably hurt the most was um, the extortion thing with my oldest daughter, Lindsay. Okay, so let's, let's go there. So Lindsay accused you and Chase of extorting her, which you vehemently denied. That's correct. So, where does that stand? How did that start? Um, 
you know, listen, without going into too much detail, because, you know, she is my daughter and I love her. Um, Lindsay, there was just some kind of emotional battle that Lindsay has had within herself and, you know, jealousy with, amongst her siblings. And, you know, it, it started out with, you know, Savannah having way more social media followers. And then it started out that Lindsay wasn't getting enough time on the show. And, and then, you know, it was, you know, that Lindsay was in Atlanta and we were all here and, you know, we wanted the show to be authentic. And, you know, why are you here in these episodes if your life is in Atlanta? And, you know, Lindsay wasn't at that time willing to allow the cameras into her personal life. She wouldn't tell the world anything. And so, you know, and then we find out that there never really was a sex tape. Okay, so you're speaking on two fronts. Yes. First, the extortion of the sex tape. Mm -hmm. But secondly was the fact that allegedly two of your children went to authorities. They went to the Georgia Department of Revenue. Uh, the evidence has been turned over to us. Um, and it was heartbreaking. As a parent, where do you go from there? How do you get through that? You know, I don't know. I don't know. I, you know, I pray to God every day. You ask the question, what has been the hardest thing? It has been the hardest thing because I don't know where you go from that. When you have a child that you have loved the way that Lindsay has been loved and, and this happens. So they went to authorities, but was there any truth with what they presented no. to the authorities? No. Because you guys have been accused and, and you're facing charges mm -hmm. from state uh, evasion charges of well, taxes that's been, oh, to that's federal. Been dismissed. That's been dismissed. The state charges have yes. been dismissed, mm -hmm. but where do you now stand with the federal charges? Um, we're still working through that process. I think there was a lot of stuff that came out um, about four weeks ago that the that was not known to the government. There's one other case, a defamation case. Yes. Where did things stand on that front? Oh, I love that case. I have never been more excited in my life for something. Hmm. Because here.